Mindset, a daily dose of practical wit and wisdom with a professional educator and trainer, Amazon best-selling author, United States Marine, television and radio host, Paul G. Markle. Each episode will focus on positive and productive ways to strengthen your mindset and help you improve your relationships, career goals, and overall well-being. Please welcome your host, Paul G. Markle. Welcome back to the Morning Mindset Podcast. I am still your host, Paul Markle. And thank you once again for joining me for just a little while while you sip your coffee or maybe you're standing in your your bathroom putting on makeup. Ladies, if, if you're a dude putting on makeup, uh, and I hope that you're in the theater. Uh, <laughs> or maybe you're getting ready to go to the field. That's right. When I was in the infantry and uh, we wanted to camouflage our faces up, we would put the, the brown and black and green and and loam, that's right. Loam is a color. We would put loam on our faces before we would go out into the woods to aggress the bad guys. But uh, whatever you happen to be doing, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and uh, welcome back to the Morning Mindset Podcast. Thank you for taking the time to be with me. And thank you to everybody who has shared this show with other people. Thank you to all of you out there who have left a review whether the review was on iTunes or your favorite podcast player. All right, what are we going to talk about today? This is something that I learned oh, many, 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 many years ago. Uh, boots and shoes. Boots and shoes. Often you will see people and they may be dressed uh, as, as like others. Let's say uh, they seem to look and be dressed like other people, but the shoes and the boots are really what set people apart. Like, for instance, when I was young, uh, matter of fact, when I was going through the police academy, I, I did it a strange way. I actually went through the police academy on my own dime, or actually I used the, uh, the GI Bill money to go through it. And you say, okay, Paul, get to the point. I'm getting there. Calm down. Uh <laughs> to supplement my income while I was going through the police academy. And many of you may not know this, but a lot of times when you go to a police academy, you're not being paid full time to be a cop. You have to get money from somewhere else. And so I got a job as a uniform security guard. And they give you the uniform. They give you the shirt and they give you the pants. And so everybody looks the same. But the difference is what people have on their feet because you are required to buy your own shoes or boots. And I noticed this, and this was like going on at least 25 years ago, close to 30 years ago now. I noticed that people who were serious about their profession would spend the money on good boots or good shoes. And those who weren't would not. Uh, if, if you see people out in public and you look at their shoes, uh, if you look at their boots, this is a life hack for you guys. If you want to know who is a professional and who is serious about their profession and who is an amateur, all you have to do is look at their feet. Uh, I give you a great uh, – one of the many things that I did when I was growing up, when I was a teenager, one of the many jobs that I had, uh, I was a field technician for a survey company and a land survey company. And what that means is a field technician is the kid that carries all of the tools and gear and crap out into the field. That's that's you. A field technician carries the shovels and the picks and the the pins and sledgehammers and all that stuff, the theatolite and the tripod. Uh, it, it's basically a glorified gopher. You're the guy who carries all that stuff so that the surveyors can use it. And I worked around a lot of outdoor surveying and construction type people. You could tell the guys who either weren't taking it seriously or were new on their jobs, for instance, people who show up on a construction site in tennis shoes <laughs> to work. And a lot of you guys out there are probably laughing. You're like, yeah, that's a rookie mistake, amateur mistake. The shoes and the boots that we wear, because most of the time 
we're issued stuff. Like you get a job and you'll get, let's say you'll get uniform pants or you'll get a uniform shirt or you'll get, you know, whatever. If you're on a construction, they'll give you car hearts. Most of the time they don't, but maybe they will or what have you. But it's the footwear that determines or that shows, demonstrates whether or not a person is serious. Because why? Because they are investing their own money in that footwear. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Very rarely, uh, even if you're working uh, at a job where they give you a uniform, very rarely will they give you boots. Unless you're in the United States military, you're not going to be given boots as part of your uniform. You have to buy those yourself or shoes or what have you. And if you're looking for a way to stand out, buy good footwear. Uh, if you go to the gym, if you go to anywhere, you can tell the difference between people who are actually genuinely serious about their endeavor and those who are just playing at it or are amateurs or who haven't quite gotten the memo yet. Now, some people uh, are fast learners and they realize immediately when they show up for a job site or they have to go out into the woods or work construction in tennis shoes that that's not going to work and it doesn't work very well and they've got to do something else. Some people don't. Some people will show up (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> for a training school uh, in tennis shoes. I was once at a – I attended a, a firearms training academy, and it was in the middle of December in northern Arizona. And if you guys have ever lived out west in the, uh, in the mountainous areas uh, of the United States of America, you'll know that it can snow any time. I don't care what Dick Goddard and the people – <laughs> <laughs> That's a little little regional uh, colloquialism for you guys. I don't care what the weatherman says. Uh, there's always a chance that the weather is going to change. So there I am uh, at this this training class in northern Arizona in the in the high desert area. There's mountains and and you know desert and so forth. And it start, started snowing. It wasn't supposed to. It was. They said maybe flurries. Flurries turned into six full inches of snow on the ground. And there was someone in the class with me that showed up for training, and all they had for footwear was tennis shoes. Yes, because they they didn't get the memo. They weren't quite prepared for that. Now, after spending an entire day in six inches of snow in tennis shoes, this individual left and he drove to the nearest store and he bought himself some boots and came back the next day. So he learned his lesson. But uh, if you're young, if you're a young person starting out, uh, uh, and maybe if you're an older person, you haven't thought about this or you never looked at someone's feet and thought, hmm, they're serious or they're an amateur, uh, it is the boots and shoes that immediately sets you apart as either a professional or somebody who's an amateur and just screwing around. And I saw that the other day. It was actually very cold uh, in town where I live. And people came in. I was, I was in a restaurant. And some people walked in off the street. And you can generally tell people that are visiting tourists and those who aren't. And uh, had a, a winter jacket on and a winter hat and slip on – Ten, like uh, leather slippers, like rubber sole leather slippers. I thought, mm hmm. Yep. Yeah, this person was not prepared for what they were going to experience. So, uh, as you progress throughout your life, especially if you're a young person, remember that the boots and the shoes uh, determine whether you're an amateur or a professional. And if you want to be considered to be a professional, spend the money on good footwear. That's, that's just good advice in general. Uh, when it comes, don't go cheap. Don't ever go cheap with footwear. Uh, you, you will not regret it. It's like that old song about sunscreen. <laughs> but trust me on the boots. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, Paul Markle. Thank you for joining me, and I will talk to you again real soon. Thank you for spending time with us today. To get show notes, submit a topic request, and for more from your host, Paul G. Markle, visit morningmindsetpodcast.com. That's morningmindsetpodcast.com. Please leave a review for this podcast on your favorite podcast player. We appreciate your time and effort, and we look forward to reading your honest feedback.